I love that. Well, you've had some infamous feuds over the years. I just saw, read something the other day about the feud with Crocus, Mr. Mr., Paul Stanley. Uh, JJ told me last week uh, there was a feud with Tom Fer uh, Werman. So how do you handle those kinds of things at this point in your career? Like, do you try and reach out and squash those things? Do you just let it go and not think about it? Or do you still hold a grudge and use that to motivate you? I use my platform to speak of them, and then I dead them. <laughs> <laughs> So wow. they can't respond. They can't respond. That is so a great answer. I, I talk and I get and I get all this press. D. Snyder says blah, blah, blah. and then they try to say, "Well, D. Snyder," blah. and I just no. I have no reaction. I don't retweet it. I don't acknowledge it. I pretend it doesn't happen. I mute it, and uh, and then I and they and they, they they get no. I don't give them any more juice than that because for a lot of them, it's <clears throat> it's become their claim to fame. Hmm. It's all they got is, is that D Snyder said something like, you know, because their careers are like in the shitter. So, uh, you know, Mr. Mr. Who's the hooster? <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? Uh. That was a band. Yeah. That was actually a band. <laughs>